Hello YouTube, so today I will be doing a Portal Let's Play. Hope you enjoy. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from Don't they? I am what you Turn back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. So I jump through the portal, right? Oh, yep, I jump through the portal. And I go through this door. So that button opens the door, oh, and I get this cube thing and put it on the button, and I'm through. Into the chamber lock now I take the elevator. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. So what do I have to do Please here? Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. So I stare at the portal right? Do I? Finally got that cube. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Loading screens are fun. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. So there's a door there, so how do I open it? I'm just gonna go through random portals. I think I've solved it. I haven't solved it. I finally got the portal done. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be I completely safe. I finally solved it. The device, however, has not. 
Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most Hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.